So in Assassin's Creed Origins, we can have three builds. We can have a Hunter build, a Warrior build, or an Assassin build. In this video, I'm going to show you how to be three, all of them. Um, all the three builds, and this build I made is awesome. It's one of the best builds, I think, out there. Um, that's just my opinion, but uh, you can have really good Assassin damage, Warrior damage, and also Hunter damage. Um, so, yeah, you can just sneak into camps and take everything out stealthily if you, if you want, or just go Warrior. Um, but yeah, I will tell you what to get in this video, and let's just not waste any more time and tell you what to get. So, all the weapons you can see in this video... Um, one weapon I can't really say it's uh, the staff you have you just complete all the cultists and you'll find the staff There's no, I can't spoil it for you um, also the siren mace um, you get it from completing all the mercenaries and all the all the gear I have all the mercenaries as well you have to make max level but as you can see right now on the screen um, you just follow this the thing I have on the screen right now basically all the um, ingredients I put on there or engravements um, and you'll just be fine because it's going too fast and I can't really speak that fast but anyway um, so yeah adrenaline on assassination kill you need that because uh, for example when you go stealthy in a, in a camp you really uh, need some adrenaline but if you don't fight you won't get any adrenaline so when you assassinate someone you will get three bars or I think I think it's three bars of adrenaline um, of course on the chest piece um, you need some um, I forgot what was on the chest piece, but <laughs> you need it. Basically, you need it. Everything, everything um, here you need it. Of course, on the boots, assassin damage is very useful. Um, just follow the the tutorial on here. Uh, all the skills I get, um, you'll be fine. Because um, yeah, I can't really explain every single thing, every single skill that it does, because you probably already know anyway. Uh, but yeah, of course the hero strike because when you get into conflict, that's really nice um, Stealth master of course to be silent and at night you even do more damage So if you want to take a camp, it's going to be easier at night um, The rush assassination one of the best and one of my favorite skills of assassin ability um, to kill uh, Even like a few enemies without them being able to do anything um, Of course put most abilities in the warrior because that's the mo like that's the best thing to do because warrior is the most that you're gonna use unless you because like if you want a hybrid you have to go warrior and then all the other things because you can't really be a stealthy hybrid I don't know I don't know how you can kind of be a stealthy hybrid but if you want to try that try it like all the points I'm putting right now in warrior you can try put it on the other ones you can try whatever you want yourself but of course this build I already tried and it's pretty awesome it's pretty strong build and I would suggest doing everything I do and also I want to mention on on the shield break as you can see I put only one point and it's the reason is because you don't need uh, a lot of points on it because you're not this like ability is not for damage you don't you're not supposed to do damage with it you're supposed to take away the shield so just put one point and you don't waste any of your time um, on the ability points on that one but uh, yeah, so on Beastmaster, you don't really have to put anything. I just love uh, taming animals in this game. If you don't tame any animals, uh, save those three points and put them in something else. Of course, the sixth sense, um, you need it because if you get caught... I'm sorry if I'm going really fast, but I'm trying to hurry. Um, I got some stuff to do today anyway. Um, I got some more videos to upload, but yeah. So... I promised, I, in the title as you can see, on the character, I promised you guys how to make your weapons glow like as you can see right now on your back without you like because on the picture it glows but when you put it on you it doesn't so i will show you how to do it and it's pretty easy so i don't know if it's a glitch actually or or whatever other reasons but they should make it so it always glows but anyway let's get into this so as you can see just follow the video um up yeah so you just equip all the weapons that you want that are glowing of course you can't really make other weapons glow but you equip it in your hand be sure it's in your hand don't put it away so pause it before you put it away and then go in the secondary slot the weapon that you're not on and click it two times but really fast so you equip the weapon and unequip the weapon at the same time I don't know how to explain it but just watch the video and then you go on the other weapon you equip it again in your hand and then go on the same weapon that you went on before and do the same as you can see right here and it's just gonna be on your back glowing but it, the th sad thing is that 
it when you like log out when you log out it won't stay there like it will not be glowing anymore or yeah it, w it will just or when you for example when you uh, die I think I think when you die they don't glow anymore I don't know but I hope this is not a glitch and I hope they actually are gonna make these weapons um, glow because they look really cool but anyway I rambled enough on this video uh, hopefully you can support me by sharing this video or liking even maybe subscribing um, but yeah thank you guys for watching and goodbye